Hey, Women Park friends, Ms. Lapierre here. Uh, this week's lesson is going to focus on the keyboard family. Uh, keyboard is any instrument which has keys on a board. So what I just held up was a keyboard. It was an, a digital keyboard or an electronic keyboard. So things like keyboards or uh, pianos, pipe organs would belong in this family. Um, melodicas, uh, not harmonicas, but I'll put an example of melodica in our, the videos for this week. Um, accordions, something called the harpsichord, which is something you'd hear a lot in music from like 1600 to 1750, so it's a pretty old instrument. Um, a harpsichord looks like a very small piano, but when you press the keys down, um, it plucks the strings instead of having a hammer that comes down and hits the strings. Behind me, I have my own piano. Um, the piano that I have once belonged to my great-grandmother. Here she is. Uh, her name was Elsie Battles, and I don't remember her very much because she was 91 when she passed away, and uh, I was seven then. So, you know, I didn't see her too, too much. Um, but... Uh, from the family legend, she was apparently a really, really wonderful piano player. Depending on which family member you talk to, she either went to Juilliard or New England Conservatory, which are both very good schools um, to, to study music. Um, she was so proud of this piano that when it came to her, uh, I think sometime in the 50s, she apparently sent out a baby announcement for it. So for a baby announcement for her baby grand. Um, her piano is a baby grand piano, which means it's actually smaller than a normal grand piano. You also might see sometimes upright pianos, which don't have the strings going out flat like this. The strings go up and down. The piano that we have in the gym at uh, school is also a baby grand piano. All right, so my poor piano is so very, very out of tune. My apologies to my great-grandmother for not maintaining the tuning of it, but... Especially that one, not so great. The nice thing about the, key, the piano I have in my room at, at school is, it's actually, that one's uh, called a clavinova, and it the keys feel a lot like playing a regular piano, but um, it never goes out of tune because it's electric. Trouble is, if the hard drive ever goes on that one, we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some issues. Um, this one, every couple of years, I need to get um, someone who's trained to tune pianos in to turn the knobs that are on the inside of the piano. Um, anyway, uh, speaking of the inside of the piano, I'm going to pause the video and put set up my laptop so that you can see what happens on the inside of the piano when I press down a key. All right, and we're back. So, on the inside of my piano, there are these things that can come, there are, I should have showed you the strings, I'll show you, show that at the end. There are strings that go from long to short, and as you go from long to short, uh, the pitch get, goes from low to high. If you press a key on the piano, what happens is that these, these things right here, these are called hammers. They um, are little pieces of wood that have felt at the bottom, and as you press them da down, they lift up, and when you, when you um, let go of the key, they hit the string, making the whole string vibrate. So, come over to this side and see. Oof, not that one though, that's super out of tune. Hopefully you can see right here the hammer going up and down. Ooh. Mm, all right, how about start? 
Star Wars in this key. <laughs> There's one good reason to be able to change Do if your piano's out of tune. Maybe you can find a key that's not atrocious for Star Wars. All right. And we're back. Um, oh yes, I meant to show you the strings on the piano, how they go from low and long to short and high. So, you can go, hey, hopefully you're not getting seasick, kids. All right, so if you look on the inside of the piano, there's 88 keys on a keyboard from low to high, but there's something like 240 strings because um, some of the keys actually have two or three strings attached to them. And I will, I will include with this week's lesson a video of how pianos are made. I will also include a video of this group called the Piano Guys. They have a much better video crew than Ms. Lapierre. Um, so you can see there's five of them and they play the piano in kind of an untraditional way. It's pretty creative. They go in and they use like a violin bow to play some of the strings. They use some mallets. They pluck the strings. They hit the, the sides of the piano. Um, I'll also include some examples of, of different keyboard instruments like the Mario theme on melodica. I'll include um, some, um, some accordion and some harpsichord too. In the meantime, stay safe and stay healthy, friends.